Hey Rusty, how are you sir? How do you do? Alright, man. I saw you rolling up in this creation here and I'm going, you know, I don't think I've ever seen one like this so I had to come over and ask, what is this thing, man? It's true, you'll not see another one like this. Oh, I'll yeah. bet. It's the only one in the world. <laughs> the only one in the world. One off here, folks. <laughs> on, on the 4th of July, 1951, my father and I started building this car. We went to the junkyard and bought the axles for it. Yeah, okay. That's what we started with, the front and rear axle. Then we designed the frame out of using, chopped up two Model A's just to get the rails off of it. And and we uh, started cutting cutting them up with a hacksaw okay. and bolted them together. And my father would carry them to work so we could he could weld them because we didn't have an electric welder. Okay. So we'd wow. borrow that. So it took us about a year to build a rolling chassis. And then we began to design the body. And uh, this is all made out of pieces of other car bodies. Uh, okay. Just like... Um, I was kind of guessing that, but I wasn't too sure. Yeah, there was and about <laughs> 28 pieces back here. 28 pieces yeah, back here. A, this is a piece of Plymouth top. Okay. This is a piece of 46 Hudson hood. This is a piece of 40 Chevy hood. And this wow. is a piece of 39 Chevy top. Okay, is this fiberglass or metal? It's all steel. It's all steel. It's Amazing. I, I guess welded it. <laughs> Okay. Learned the gas weld in high school. All right. And uh, then we leaded it. Oh, wow. Okay. The old school leads. Yeah. Right. Wow, then, that's uh, amazing. If you want to go forward here, I'll show you. Uh, okay. Of course, this is, uh, this is a J.C. Whitney item here. All right. And uh, I bought these. These are appliance wheels. They don't even build those anymore. Those mm -hmm. people are out of business. Okay. This cowl is homemade. It's all custom built out of uh, sheet metal. Wow. And uh, electrical thin wall tubing okay. for a skeleton. All right, so the cow didn't come from any one car. You, you hand built the entire cow. Yeah, here's a give you an idea of what it took. Yeah. Okay. We just bent bent it over that and uh, yeah, and and I welded it in there. Wow, and, craftsmanship, people. <laughs> That's what this is about. This is a custom rear window out of a 42 <laughs> Commander. Okay, that's the rear window <laughs> yes, of a sir. Commander. It's right. Studebaker Commander. <laughs> All right. Okay, this, of course, is a piece of sheet aluminum. Okay. That, uh, we made a frame out of wood bucks and, and then bent it over it and, and uh, braced it. All right. These started out as 39 LaSalle fenders, but then we took the other half of those trailer fenders back there and put them up here and flowed them in here with <laughs> lead. Wow. Um, yeah, you can literally say this car's been pieced together. That, yeah. That's amazing. Um, this is, I made that, uh, got these out of, um, we had trouble with uh, 50 Chevy trucks, the corners of the cabs rusting out, and yeah. I, I picked up, you know, I needed the compound curves, so I, I bought two of those replacement corners. Okay, those are cab corners. Yes, sir. Patches. Right. Put together. And made into the nose. <laughs> All right. Of course, a Ford man recognized that as off of the front fender of a 58 retractable. Okay. Um, these are 36 Oldsmobile headlights. And we took another 36 Ford headlight and cut this piece out and welded it on the ring and then put a piece of copper tubing around here to firm okay. it up a little bit. Okay. Across the front is a 47 Ford truck hood uh, where we cut to get these uh, a 47 uh, Ford truck hood yes sir cut to fit the very nose yes sir okay <laughs> of course right. these are 50 Chevy bumpers on 50 both Chevy ends. bumpers <laughs> all uh, right let's see these grills a lot of people recognize think they do but they're the dashboard grills out of a 41 champion wow. dashboard and this piece of chrome here is remember when the Oldsmobile had the word O's across here okay. the 55 yeah all that's right. what that's from Amazing. Uh, okay. All right. Now we get to the engine around here. Well. Now, well, okay. It looks like a V6 out of, it's a, what is that? 80, 85 uh, Buick V6. Okay. But um, I started with a Studebaker 6. Then I put a, a nail head in a Buick nail head. Okay. And then I went to a, a 76 Buick V6. And uh, when they came out, and now I've got this one. I bought this one. 
updated it to an 85 so I could get the four barrel intake. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I don't really need the four barrel. No, this <laughs> not is, anymore. <laughs> for me, this is kind of a first. I'm not a V6 guy, so I've never seen aluminum intake and chrome valve covers on a uh, Buick V6 like that. That oh, That's see. a little different for me. Oh, I see. <laughs> but, that's uh, pretty cool. Of course, this is and custom built. Yeah, I see uh, that. I built the, the, uh, okay. the uh, frame out of conduit tubing All right. and uh, electrical conduit and and had it covered and and of course likewise the dashboard is all custom built okay uh, uh, laid and, it out and, and the steering wheel is not exactly round is it no and uh, of all the shows i've been to it's rare to ever see one that's now did you make that steering you know, wheel? my boys come uh, one day in 78 and i said here i got a steering wheel for the car yeah okay. and uh, it's I I've it never was, seen one like it. No, that is quite unique. But uh, and of course the seats are just custom made out of foam rubber and plywood and covered. Now this uh, guy's got a great eye for custom ability, if you want to call it, because the top, the top just matches perfectly. How, that is awesome, man. And it, it kind of resembles the old Excalibur in a way. You yeah. know, the, the way you design this and put it together. That's love the body lines man everything fits right together it yeah. looks great man well we uh, of course corvette people recognize that as a okay. 78 corvette 78 uh, corvette grill luggage rack, luggage rack. Yeah. okay um, <laughs> well if uh, you got a minute i'll show you how you can get to that tire if it's okay i think we have a minute to see how he gets to his tires all right might as well we've came this far with this creation let's just check it out yeah, you can tell that the back end of the car is made from something else. It's it's really unique the way he put it, it incorporated the whole back half into a, another vehicle like that. This this guy, I love people with imaginations, don't you? <laughs> this guy's cool. This is awesome. You never know what you'll see here on Hot Rod Madness. All right, sir. You're gonna raise the whole back off of this car, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> he is. <laughs> the whole back opens up a bit. Okay, this ain't your average tire swap if you get a flat tire on this thing. Holy, wow. See that? Okay, there's the battery exposed. Looks like an air, air filter, maybe? Okay, there's the fuel cell back there. Fuel tank and, and of course, your mufflers. Um, okay. I've got some pictures, but I don't know if your camera will pick him up, excuse me. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, he might have a little bit of trunk space back here too, folks. Yeah, that's a big trunk. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, therefore, you can get right to the frame and your exhaust and things. All right. Okay, we got a plaque here. Dollar Bill, check this out, man. I think this is the uh, in the making of this vehicle back in the day. Like I say, on the 4th of July in 51, with the front and rear axle, and then it took us a year to build this rolling chassis. Then we started building the body out of sheet metal of other automobiles, and it's the various pictures of the construction as it grew into yeah. its finish. This is what it looked like in 1955 when it was finished. Wow. And of course, um, this is one of my greatest prides is my first show I went to in Cleveland, Ohio, I, I was presented a trophy by the famous Jane Mansfield. <laughs> How about that? And there's not many wow. fellas in this group here can claim that. And, yeah, <laughs> I'd say. And the car don't look like it's that old. No, it's... but it's, How many times have you painted this car? Um, the second time, first time we painted it was 55, and then the second time I painted it was in 78. Wow, so okay. So it's 36 years ago. All right, sir. So it's... Uh, Truly amazing. What a build. 63 years yeah. for its start and 36 years for the paint job. <laughs> Very cool. So, amazing. 